Yes. You're looking at it correctly. We're 10 and 0 in BR. We are two wins away from a flawless reward, and we're hoping it's Gagne. We will not be happy with 12 and 1. We will not be happy with Kenley Jansen. What we need to do is we need to clutch out these next two games, and we need to get paid. We're running low on stubs. It's time to get after it. Now, what we are looking at is a lineup. Logan Morrison leading off. Del Marte, Alex Gordon, Michael Chavis. Not the live series. Fernando Tatis, glitch. Miguel Sano, glitch. Yasiel Puig with the cannon and right. This guy sucks. We're going to have to get around him. But our bullpen, Chapman, Osuna, Gagne. We can do this. We can absolutely do it. Now, I wish I recorded the first nine games. I just recently got this PC, so I'm just figuring everything out. I finally figured out how to record these videos. I finally figured out how to get it all set up to where it looks nice for you guys. So I still wanted to try to get this 12-0 for you guys and get these games for you so you can kind of see how I play it, how I strategize. And hopefully it brings me good luck and I can get this 12-0. Let's get started right now. All right, let's see what we're going against. We're going against the Tampa Bay Slongs. Very mature. And his lineup is absolutely stacked. He has Frank Thomas, Jose Batista, Josh Donaldson, George Springer. He's very right-handed heavy, so that'll be good for guys like Eric Gagne and Osuna. He has Scooter Jeanette, and he has Mondesi batting seventh. Definitely has a better lineup advantage, but I think our bullpen's probably a lot better. We're home team. His record, he has a losing record. So we should be able to get this win. We should be able to. You know how BR goes, I know how BR goes. I could have just jinxed myself, but I mean, I'd rather see that than see a guy with a 12 and 0 banner per se. So let's try to get this dub. Okay, so immediately, obviously, I warm up a lefty and a righty just in case of any emergency. We do a mountain visit right away. So we can immediately get their uh, warm up bar up at least a little bit and then we try to not give up a home run to Frank Thomas first at bat we'll throw a low change up to see if he'll chase we missed our spot go inside on a fastball try not to give him anything to hit too hard okay so he's a guy that could be behind on fastballs and may swing at balls we cannot give him anything in the zone we cannot See if he'll chase a low change up. Uh, he chased it. And he found it. Alright, at least it wasn't a home run, right? So, now we get Gagne. He's nasty. Against a guy like this, I feel like I should maybe use Ozuna instead first. But we're going to go Gagne anyways. He's been our most reliable guy so far. So we know that he gets behind on fastballs, but we want to try to work him away. We get an immediate fly ball, but my guy is jogging. I hope he hurries up. Thank you. We get the first out. Those auto jogs are dangerous sometimes, man. Let's see how he reacts to this curveball. He chased it. Wow. Okay, we got lucky there. That pitch wasn't... Uh, it didn't look like he was in the zone for too long. I'm surprised he swung, to be honest with you. Behind on there, we're gonna go low splitter, try to keep him off balance a little bit, not let him get comfortable. He chases, and then we'll go there one more time since it's 0 2. It's okay if we throw a ball in, we get him to get out. Let's try to make him quit this inning. Let's try to get a bunch of runs. Let's try to get a bunch of runs. We got Logan Morrison leading off against a righty. That's the exact position we want to be in. And first pitch out. That is the worst thing we could have done. And we are immediately starting this inning off terribly. He's going to keep in the common starter. We need to try to take advantage of this. Can tell Marte is a great hitter. We need to try to take advantage of this. Look for a fastball in the zone, maybe a hanging off speed. It's 2 0. We're going to try to execute on a pitch here. And we crush it. And. It should be gone, and it is gone. We're up one nothing. 
against a guy you can't really hit well, it would be nice to just get a quit. Oh, if we kept that fair, that would have been very ideal. That would have been very ideal. And that one's going to be fair. Uh, that may be an out, though. Oh, that is so tough. That is so tough. It's to the deepest part of the park. We hit it well. You could see in our uh, in our feedback, we were a little early, but we definitely hit it well. We're going to try to try to hit a solo shot here with Michael Chizik. And we got the mistake fastball. Is it gone though? It's hanging up an awful lot. We're up two nothing, let's go. Michael Chavis and Cattell Marte have been so clutch for me and they do it again today. Man, we got rewarded on a bad PCI placement. We got very rewarded on a very bad PCI placement. Nonetheless, we got the lead, let's keep it going. Uh, JT Romuto, we're not gonna switch up anything in the approach. First pitch out, we love that. We love that. We don't wanna let anybody get on because we want his bottom of the order to be up in the third inning. Scooter Jeanette, he hits so well against righties. We're gonna be cautious with him. And he swung at an, it was a hittable pitch, but you don't wanna, you wanna wait for a pitch that you know you can smack. I mean, you only get nine outs, you know, that's a very borderline pitch. It's hard to hit that hard, being that it's somewhat on the corner, and you know, you just wanna be more patient in VR. So luckily for us, we get the out, two quick outs. Keeps Air Gagne's stamina very high. We're gonna try to just get a quick strike three here. Oof, it was close. All right, let's see if we can get him chased with a splitter. He's been chasing these a lot this game. Yep, that's MLB 19. Early on a low ball, they let him foul it off. Chances of the whole at bat. And he makes very good contact on it, but Puig should get there. And we get the third out. Three outs away from being 11 and 0, guys. Gets a nice single. So we're going to have to take out Gagne. We have to take out Gagne and try to hit a two run jack with Nate Low. He has very good power for a bench bat. Chris Davis is actually playing. No, Nate Lowe is playing up a lot more. Yeah. Those are very good stats to have off the bench. We'll definitely take that. And I don't think this guy will be able to hit Chapman. All right, he put in Taylor Rogers. It's a lefty. So Nate Lowe, we are going to put substitute. Jesus Aguilar's stats against lefties are stacked today. We actually get a better matchup than we had originally with Nate Lowe. So we're gonna try to take advantage of it and just smack one right now. If we go up four nothing, we might even get the quit. But it'll definitely be a safe lead to have Asuna and Chapman come in. It's a very good pitch. I was good timing on it. If I followed through, I could have hit it hard, but we smack that ball and it is four nothing. We hope to get the quit. We don't want to even risk having to pitch. But regardless, we have a 4 0 lead, and that is a very good lead to have in BR. He has not quit, so we'll just have to finish it off. Can never have too many insurance runs in BR, guys. I mean, I know sometimes in ranked seasons you may get lackadaisical if you get a big lead, but in BR, it's only three innings. You want to just keep hitting, man. And we get out there, but now it's time to just finish it off pitching. I'm going to put in Chapman just to try to get the sure out on this lefty right here. I mean, I just want to. I'm gonna be a sweat a sweat lord because it's you know it's my 10 and 0 game. I don't want to risk anything. 1 and 0. I mean one more win after this for a potential Eric Gagne. Man, I couldn't be happier. Good eye. We're gonna try to get him chasing on this uh, slider. He was able to make contact with it, but we get him. Hit a soft ground out, and we have one out, two more to go, baby. Let's go. Second out. Very quick. One more. Let's go. All right, now let's just try to get him a strikeout on the outside slurve. 
and the game is over. We are 11 and 0. One more, baby. Let's go. Who's our player of the game? Of course, it's Big Daddy Jesus with the two-run jack. Very clutch. We need to keep this offensive going for our next game. Hopefully, we can do it and get our 12 and 0. Just sitting here thinking about it, man. I am going to be so heartbroken if I don't get this 12 and 0. Because I do not want Kenley Jansen. You know, I, I don't want to be playing a game for a, a 12 and 1. It's not the same, man. It's not the same. We got to get it here. We got to get it here. No turning back. And I think I'll retire from BR forever if I lose this game. So, wish me luck, boys. Let's go. Please be a bum, Judge James. Please be a bum. No, do not do this. Salvador, thank you. My God, that would have been an awful way to start the game. We may have got lucky with our 12-0 game. We may have gotten lucky. Now, I accidentally messed up on the audio during the lineup screen. So we're going to look at his lineup. He has Willie Mays, he has Shohei, Xander, Daniel Murphy, Miguel Sano, Jordan Alvarez, Buster Posey, and then he has Diamond Luis Castillo. I don't know what to think. You know, I, I don't know what to think. Does he stay in? Does he deal? Does he does he just shut me out? You know, I, I don't know what to think. Do I just get him out of there and he wasted a diamond on him? I, I don't know, but we got, we're going to try to win this one. It's 11-0. Let's go. I just want to sing. But I cannot get too excited yet. I cannot get too excited yet. We need, we need, we need to stay calm. And we need to not give up a home run. Because knowing my luck, we would give up a solo home run. And I would line out 73 times. We get the first three outs quick. Let's go. Please. 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 MLB the show gods. Let this happen how it should happen. Please. I'm getting the feeling that this guy has not played much MLB The Show in his life. And being that I am the number two player in the world, I think I should be winning this game. But he has a diamond starter, and I don't know what the hell's going to happen. We're just going to have to see. Come on, Morrison. Lomo? That's foul. Okay. Let's give it another go. Let's give it another go. I'm... Feeling like we just need a couple runs. That's all we need. That's all we need is a couple runs. Come on. Come on, Logan. Is that gone? We lead it off with the solo shot. Logan Morrison has been huge, huge, huge this run. Good squared up. We smack that off his diamond starter. Let's go, Cattel Marte. Patel Marte with the back-to-back -back shots. 2 nothing in our 12-0 game. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it moving. Make this guy quit. Another good squared up. He's got a diamond starter. We're teeing off on him. Is that enough? Oh, that's just foul. Would've been nice. Would've been nice. Early squared up. 103. Just gotta keep it moving. See if he gives us something to work with here. Ball four. Let's go. Man on first. Man on first. Let's go, Chavis. He's been so huge for us already. And he continues to be huge for us. Maybe. Maybe. Whoa. What just happened? Okay. We'll take it. We will take it. It's a man on second and third. No outs. Okay. We'll take it. I didn't know if that was caught. I didn't know if that was gone. I definitely wasn't expecting that. We didn't deserve that hit. We weren't on it. Fernando Tatis. Now we're just looking for the quit. Now we're just looking for the quit on our 12 and 0. Wow. Okay. Things are going our way right now. The starter. That's a great hit. I mean, we don't even have an out yet. I mean, we're besides that Tatis one, we're doing everything we got to do. Clutched up for our 12 and 0. We're, we 
came to play. We definitely came to play. Let's try to square these two as well. Oof. Can Lomo do it again? I'll take eight nothing. I'll take eight nothing. I'll take six nothing. You know, I didn't even want that home run anyways. You know, I like mid at bat, I thought about it and I said, man, we should just lay off, man. You know, we're already winning. We don't need to do this. So I just said, forget it. I'm not going to hit the home run. I messed up on purpose pretty much. So yeah, you know, it's kind of humble, you know, kind of cool of me. Whatever. You can leave the, leave the props in the comment section. You know, I don't do it for the props, but anyways, we're not going to get too sidetracked. We're just going to try to end this right now. Hopefully if he strikes out a couple times and like that, maybe we just get the quit. We love quits in VR, boys. We should get the quick strike three. Good eye. Three more. Three more, and we not only prove to others, but myself, that I can go 12 0 more than once. I'm looking at you, Maurice. MLB Shady. Shady the God. I'm looking at you. You want to talk about big boys in BR? I'm a big boy. And everybody's going to see it. I might just rock the 12 0 badge for the rest of the year. Say, forget the top three pins. Let them know. I'm here to play BR. I'm here to go 12-0. And, and I'm here to match up with Scrubs while I'm home team to try to get that 12-0. And, and I'm going to do it. And I am going to do it multiple times. And we're going to hit Yaks with Aaron Gordon because that's what we do. No leads big enough. And now we got Michael Chavis. We got a 7 to nothing lead. And now I just want this game to end. I'm cool with home runs, but I would rather just have it end and get this reward. Hopefully see my Gagne. We hit another moonshot. It's getting ugly now. At what point does the opponent quit? Yeah, you're still playing, but at what cost? You know, it's one of those situations. Ow. Is there a mercy roll in BR? I haven't won enough to know. Let's find out. Hit a nice little two run tank, you know, like that, and go ahead and see if there's a 10 nothing roll. Hopefully, it is. Hopefully, that's game. If not, hopefully, he just quits because it is 10 to nothing. This poor soul. There is no mercy roll. My god. Okay. If he comes back in this game, I will sell, not sell, I'll give away my PC. My newly purchased PC, I will give it away on stream to one random viewer. Because this is starting to seem like a lead that is not probable to come back in one inning against Roberto Ozuna when you don't really know how to swing the bat. Yeah, I'm just going to bat with Ozuna. This, is, this has gotten fairly ugly. In our 11 and 0 game, we won 11 and 0. We won 11 to 0. Ideal, ideal, stress-free, dominant. Uh, some would say sexy. We like to see that. We like to see that. Now there's one last part. One last part, and we need Gagne. MLB the show, Lord. Please, let me get Gagne. Because my first one, they gave me Eric Davis. Yeah, you heard that right. A successful 12-0 run, baby. Let's go. Now, since you guys stuck with me, I'm gonna go go over how to uh, how I draft a BR run. 
Hopefully it could teach you guys a little something. I'm not gonna play on this run. The video will end after that, but I do want you guys to see what strategy I go through when when drafting it. There's a lot of people out there that are better with me, better than me when it comes to strategy and drafting and stuff like that. But I do like to kind of show you how I do it, you know. Now it's Vado, Mini Mimoso, and a slaughter. Now this isn't ideal. This isn't an ideal first round. But I will draft a Mini Minoso because not only does he rake, he plays left field, which isn't a very dominant position, such as first base, for example. You have a lot of bronze guys like Logan Morrison or uh, uh, Jesus Aguilar, Justin Smoke, guys like that who can rake and you can get them at a lower level. Same with guys in right field. You got guys like Gritchick, things like that. So we're going to go Minoso here and play it safe. He's also very good, and I've done very well with him. Uh, not as well as I thought, but in BR he'll be just fine. Common round, we like to get all commons as starters if possible. Um, right here we're going to go with a bronze starter because there's nobody else. Now here, there's two options. We can go Granderson, we can go Chapman. Obviously Chapman is very good. He's a good diamond pick. We already have an outfielder. In this situation, I'm gonna decide to go Curtis Granderson only because in BR that fastball is not as dominant as it would be per se on legend so you really want to make sure you got your bats going because no matter what they're probably gonna score runs off you just make sure you got your lineup locked in so we're gonna get the power with Curtis Granderson common we're gonna grab a starter we got another bronze round and Omar Navarez is playing up Catcher isn't that strong of a position. You're only really gonna get somebody like Gary Sanchez that's, or maybe a Robinson Trinos in a silver round that has very good value. The thing about Navarre is that I'm scared of is that fielding. It's a 41. That may be very bad and I didn't notice that at first. So that's something that we're a little bit scared of even though his hitting stats are pretty high up. Um. We're just gonna go ahead and grab this bronze starter. We got two, only two commons left, so one of them's right there. We got the starters out of the way. Now our silver round, we get Jose Martinez. He absolutely rakes, and he's playing up by 10. So we'll have 95, 65 against righties, and basically the same against lefties, so he'll be very consistent. Uh, right here, Brandon Drury's actually pretty good value at third base. And we have Mini Minoso that we could put at third. So we're going to go ahead and salvage this bronze round by getting a decent bat that we'll at least have on the bench. Right here, we got another bronze. And this is not the best round. So we are going to grab a reliever. Hope we don't have to use him. Hope we get a couple of better relievers. But that's what we're going to put him there. Okay. Here is a tough one shortstops a pretty weak position he has good fielding and he'll definitely be able to hit some jacks adrian gonzalez like the logic i said before first base is easy to get at a silver even gold you can get somebody like edwin there's a lot of first basemen you can get so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and pick zach kozar here we're gonna pick a lefty reliever because those are very important whether they're bronze or whatever Here's another tough position. We're gonna go ahead and get Ruben Odor because I've played with him before. I like his swing and second base is another weak position. And go another lefty for our common round. Nishek, perfect. He's an absolute glitch. That windup is glitchy. His circle change is glitchy. This is a huge bullpen guy for us to get out of our the first guy out of our pen. He'll be our go-to reliever. We love that. Wilson Contreras, a great catcher. He's playing up. He's batting 85-90 against righties. Absolutely, we have room on our team for him. This is starting to become a very good draft. We get not the prime Gagne, but any Gagne is good enough. He will be a perfect second option for us out of the bullpen. And then we get Jeremy Jeffress. This is starting to come along very well. His knuckle curve is great. He has a splitter and he throws hard. 
Now we get our third lefty out of the bullpen. Let's see how... Wow, he's playing up a lot, but we're going to still... Oh, man. See, this is tough. He's feeling so terrible. I'm going to make the executive decision here and go Adam Morgan because I used him in my last run when I went 12-0, and we get our third lefty. And we made the right decision because now we get Jose Abreu at first base. I mean, this draft, you guys, it's this is a great draft. This is ideally what you want. We got a lot of power. We have good relievers. Derek Dietrich off the bench, almost batting a hundred with power. You guys, this is we can put him and platoon him. That is just a great guy to have on our bench. He could play second base instead of Odor if we need to. Martin Prado. Uh, he has some speed. So does JB Shuck. Not a lot of stealing. We're going to use Adolis Garcia in case we need to have a pinch run or anything like that. Just in case of an emergency. He's just a bronze, so we're not wasting any. Wow. Perfect. We're going to get Jorge Polanco. He rakes. Uh, oh, he's playing way down. Too, though uh just because he's a switch bat we're gonna pick jorge blanco and we're gonna put him at third instead of brandon drury lucas duda off the bench man you guys if you guys get a draft like this you are lucky okay and now we can have draw dyson geo ursula breaks he'd be a good bench We are going to go with Gio Urshela. All right, guys. I mean, this lineup is absolutely stacked. We're going to put Jorge Polanco at third. I mean, man, you actually cannot. Let's see if there's a way we could get somebody. We could put Dietrich in right field, but this defense isn't that good. The only problem I'm having, you guys, is that Jose Martinez's fielding is a 40. You know what I mean? It's it's just tough to have that there. You know what? YOLO. Hopefully, I have another recording with this team, a whole 12-0 run for you guys. That would be ideal. And I appreciate you guys for watching my 12-0 right before this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked the new stream quality. Like I said, I invested a lot of money in this mic, a lot of money in this PC, a lot of money in this webcam, and I'm ready to give you guys some good content. I've been waiting a while to do this. Uh, I've played this game for so many years, tried so hard to get really good at it, and now I'm finally, hopefully, gonna put it out there for you guys to see. My Twitch will be below you guys should stop by check out some of my live streams it's a whole different experience i'll have my twitter below make sure to like this video and subscribe if you like it and make sure to check out my other videos i have a pitching tips video i have a hitting tips video a wager series i got a bunch of good stuff so please check that out i got a bunch of cool collabs coming out with a bunch of top youtubers you guys are gonna definitely want to see that it's nothing you want to miss i appreciate you guys for stopping by and i'll see you guys very soon Peace.